Today we're getting Christmassy and I'm going to do a bit of graphic design. I'm going to design a Christmas plate setting all on a Finley Photo 2 on the iPad. This app is absolutely brilliant for photo work, removing objects, doing masking, lots of other stuff that you see me do in this channel, but it's also brilliant for graphic design. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my graphic design workflow and work through a project that I had to do for my work Christmas dinner. You're also going to find out what I had to eat, so let's get into it. So here we are, back inside Affinity Photo 2 on the iPad, and we're going to make a new document. So we'll just click New. Affinity has remembered that we went for four 4K resolution in the last project. The last project was our Indiana Jones. I'm going to scroll up to print. I'm going to click A4, not because I want A4 dimensions, because I actually want custom dimensions, but it sets the DPI and the color space and the color profile and a few different things has already been set up, seeing we've clicked it for print because it is it is a print project we're working on today. So the important thing about print, it has to be 300 DPI because when you're printing stuff, the resolution is 300 DPI. And when it comes to video, or screens it's 72 dpi and if you work on a project that you want to print out in 72 dpi th the quality is not the same the resolution is not the same so that's why it's set to 300 and some of the color spaces have changed too so for the page width we're simply going to tap on it and type in and it's already set to millimeters we can change this if we want but i'm happy with millimeters working in this project and it's not that it's actually going to be 87 and that's okay and then we're going to change the height and the height of the place card is going to be 98 and we'll just click margins because currently margins have set up and we'll just click margins off and then that means there's no margins there in the project and that's us looking good there so I'll pinch out because it is a place card and we're going to have an invisible line here because this is actually going to be folded over and it's just really down here is what we're going to be working on so for that line, I want to set up a bit of a guide. And we've got three icons up here and we're going to turn snapping on and we're going to pull this wee drop down of the middle icon. It kind of looks like a wee gauge, but down here, we're going to go into guide settings and we'll look at this in another video in more detail. But all we want is a horizontal line going across here in the middle and we'll just tap that guide and straight away it comes up and that's, that's grand. We'll, we'll click that again just to get it away. And our guide is there, and this is what we're looking at down here. That's our artwork. Now, for this table place card, I don't want a white background. I want it on a nice brown card. Some maybe looks a wee bit rich. So just for that, I'm going to scroll up from the dog. I'm going to go into Google Chrome. And I've went to unsplash.com, and I've just simply typed in brown card. And I've come down to this photo, which looks pretty good. I only want... This is only for mock-up purposes, really. So I'm going to download this here image. Click download. And as always, all these images will be in the links below. So if we'll come back into Findlay Photo, we'll bring up our files icon. Just move it to the right-hand side. And we're already in our Chrome folder. So I'm simply going to take this, bring it into our document, and just swipe that away. We're actually going to... Zoom out a wee bit. And if we come to the Transform Studio on the right hand side, we'll simply just rotate this round and then bring it into place, make it a wee bit bigger. And that's looking really nice. Now, we don't actually want this brown card printed. This is just for effect, just so when I'm designing the card, I have a rough idea what we're looking at. So we've got the right size, we've got our line. This is where we're going to be doing our artwork. And I'm just actually going to bring in Affinity Designer because ahead of time, I bought this graphic from Adobe Stock. So this image is bought from Adobe Stock. You can find it in the link below. Feel free to download it. Although saying that, there's not many people probably are, is going to want this image because this is actually the skyline of Belfast. We've got some features here in Belfast or near, or I live near Belfast, but my work Christmas party is going to be in Belfast. And this is some iconic buildings that the people at the work dinner will look at and know straight away what they are. So this was bought in Adobe Stock. It was bought as an Illustrator file, but in Illustrator, you can also open it up in Affinity Designer. And that's what I've done. And I'm simply going to click up these three lines and I'm going to export it. I'm going to hit the share button. I'm going to go all the way here to more and down. Maybe if I get rid of Affinity Photo 1, Affinity Photo 2, 
will take its place. And again, it can't be imported because we already have a project open. So we'll close that project. We'll go back to Affinity Designer. So we'll go over to our three dots again. Go down to Photo 2 and hopefully now that brings it in to Affinity Photo. And I'm simply, I've just selected it. I'm going to click our three dots, go to the pasteboard, copy, then go back to our black card, press the three dots and press paste. And it is absolutely massive. So we'll zoom out again, two fingers to zoom in and out. That's not changing the canvas size. That's just zooming in. And I'll just bring this down to the bottom and that's already snapped in, snapped and turned on so it knows exactly where to bring it. It's looking a wee bit rough so if I go into the Layer Studio on the right hand side I'll click these three dots, a lot of three dots in this tutorial and I'll just move it to darken and straight away you can see what we're looking at and I think this is really nice. What I might be tempted to do actually is just move this up a little bit because by the time the printers cut this out this will be a wee bit smaller again so I'll maybe just bring that up there's three different ways of doing this so we'll click on our shape tool or rectangle tool we'll draw a rectangle we'll go into our color studio and I think that's the it's affecting the the radius or the stroke at the minute so if we simply just flick that across that will fill it so just a flick with a with your finger We'll change it from the outline to the inside, to the fill, sorry. And it's not quite, it's just slightly off black. So we'll actually have to take the color picker. And that's it now. And that's looking much better. The fish is slightly cut off here. And what I'm tempted to do is actually just remove this fish. This fish is a, there's a sculpture in Belfast and it's a fish <laughs> there's not much more to say about it but i'll maybe just uh i'll maybe just rub that out actually so just again by choosing the color and i've selected the paintbrush I'll, and yes sorry it's 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 working on the wrong layer so if we make a new layer we'll just make a pixel layer and now we are just rubbing away that fish and it's, it's really not needed and if anything, it just looks a little bit better. And we're, we're nearly there in this tutorial already. We'll hit text. And I'm just going to type in my name. I do it with the Apple Pencil. Sometimes you have to click on the wee Apple Pencil logo. And then type in my name, which is, of course, Andrew. We'll bring it down a bit. And in a few videos ago, we showed how to install a font. We'll show you again very quickly. So we'll go pull up our dock. We'll go back into Google Chrome. Already I've looked for a font and I'm quite happy with this universal one, which maybe isn't the most Christmassy font, but there's just something about it I quite like and I think it'll stand out well. So I've clicked download. I'll hit download here. We'll go into our files app. Unzip the universal font. Go back to Finley Photo, click back out. I'm going quite quick because we did cover this uh, a few videos ago. So I'm going to go too quick. Just uh, watch this in slow speed or even watch that video. Click on Preferences, down to Fonts, click the cloud icon, click on Universal. Our Universal font is now installed. And we'll go back into this and click the text tool, double click Andrew. And hopefully if I just type in unit, there we are. And that's not looking too bad. It's not the right color, of course. So I will go into our layer studio, our color, our color studio. We'll go down to this color. And that's looking quite nice, maybe a little big. And this is just personal preference. And yeah, that's starting to look quite nice. I'm happy we've got the skyline of Belfast. We've got my name. There's something else missing. And if we bring up our files app, you may have seen it earlier. We have Santa and his reindeers. 
and again it's too big and there's a white background so we'll go into our layer studio we'll just darken this and uh, I think this will maybe look quite well Santa fly over Belfast maybe angle it slightly and let's see how that looks maybe move Andrew up maybe make it a wee bit bigger and I think that's going to be quite a nice placeholder card you could mess about with it all day I'm tempted just to move Andrew down a little and I think that will be quite nice and I'm just standing here thinking is there anything else we can just do to make this a wee bit more Christmassy or maybe a wee bit more personal and I like the skyline I like Santa I like my name and whoever's name it's going to be and I'll maybe just go back and duplicate this layer so with the layer selected we can go up here duplicate it and I'll maybe write Merry Christmas so it'll be Merry Christmas Andrew or Merry Christmas whoever it is so we'll just do that now and this might work or not certainly if we could spell Christmas Andrew that would be a lot better and the nice thing is snapping's turned on so we'll just snap it in there do I like that I think Merry Christmas should be a lot smaller Merry Christmas Andrew and I think that's looking quite nice Merry Christmas Andrew it just adds just something to it I could be tempted to put something up here but I'm happy with how that's looking uh, I don't want to go too fancy because really this is the artwork here it's just a place setting card and the name's the most important thing but I think just by adding Merry Christmas it just lightens up just ever so much and the final thing I'm going to do now is just duplicate this file again and if I hold it we'll duplicate it a different way we'll come up here and we'll hit duplicate because on the back of this card it's nice that it's Merry Christmas Andrew we've got a bit of artwork but on the back of the card is what's on the Christmas menu or what's not on the Christmas menu but what did I order so you're going to find out what I'm going to be having for my work Christmas dinner and before I start I'll maybe change the alignment just to center aligned and for starter we're going for soup I'm not sure what the soup is that'll be a bit of a surprise for me I just know ordered the soup we will go for or not what we've got for the mains it's a traditional Christmas dinner turkey and ham and I cannot wait for that even talking about it it's getting me hungry and for dessert I'm just going for a Christmas pudding and then if I click that we will center that up and hopefully some of you are screaming at me Andrew that's upside down because when the card folds remember it's being folded here that's going to be the wrong way so again just by going into our transform studio I will rotate it round and that doesn't look very centered and the reason why it doesn't look centered is because it's snapping to different things so really just for for my purposes just so I know what's happening is we'll go into the guide settings and then we'll do a line down the middle and now we know for sure I should have done that really well before now again we'll look at guides and another video we're just touching into it and all this is centered Santa's not centered and I'm really really happy with how that's looking but it's not completely up to me because I need to send it on to someone else just to approve this artwork and sometimes in a case like this it's hard to visualize how this might look so I think that'll do us for today but in the next tutorial I'll take this artwork and quickly mock it up just so I can send this artwork on but also how it looks in a real life situation and I think that'll look really well or hopefully it'll look really well. 
So there you have it. This is the first of a two part series. We've got the artwork and in my next video, I'm going to show you how to mock this artwork up in a real life situation on a real place card setting. Now I could print out this project on the card and cut it out and fold it up and put it on the table. But that's a lot of work. That's a lot of effort. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to take this artwork, how to mock it up so I can show it to my boss and hopefully get approval. Please give this video a like. Please subscribe as there's going to be more videos coming out soon on Affinity Photo 2 on the iPad. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.